Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and uh, in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can create a pre-filled form. So pre-filled form means whenever we will reload a page or just visit a page, then some JSON data will be filled up in our form. And uh, we will also see that how we can just uh, fill this data on a button click also, right? So I just want to show you the scenario that we are going to do in this video. Whenever we will reload our page, this page or visit this page the first time, then we have a form here and this form will be filled up with this data or first data, right? And then we will create an update button here, uh, just parallel to the delete button. And on click on this update button, uh, the respective data will be filled in a form. So this will be you can say that a first part of uh, updating data with the api also because in the next video i will show you that how we can update the data and for that we must have to just grab this data uh, in a form and then we can just modify it and update it right so you can see that in this one video we will just going to learn two things that how we can just uh, pre-fill the form data in a form and how we can get ready to update the data inside a form also so now let's get started with the points. We will create a simple form. Then we will add an update button in a list, as I told you, with the parallel to the delete, right? And uh, then we will set these value to the state. Then we will populate the data inside a form and uh, interview question. Uh, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment box. And this is my Instagram ID if you just want to join me there. Now let's get started. And uh, here you can see that this is my previous code and uh, let's just take a look on this code whenever our page is loaded this get user data fetch a api and just set the data inside this table you can see that right and we are using a map function to just uh, iterate this data and uh, on a delete click we have a delete button here also on delete button we are just deleting the data and these all these things are uh, we just uh, learned in the previous video if you want to watch them then you can watch right and uh, now let's create a one more button here and just simply write here update and after that you can just simply write here select user and uh, just uh, make a button here or just make a function here with the select user and uh, for a moment let's make a console dot warn that this is calling right function called and now let's create a form so that we can whenever we will just update click on update then we can just get the data inside this uh, form right so let's create a form so for that let's take a div even we don't need to just uh, use a uh, for tag but we can just simply put some use some inputs here right just right here type this text and that's all for a moment and let's take a br tag so that uh, we can just manage some spaces and let's make some copy of it and uh, at last we can also take a button and just right here update user and now you can see that we have a form here so first thing that we want to do on a page load we want to load our first data inside this form right so let's do it for that we need three states so let's take some states here all right you can see that i already just created three states even because we already know that how we can create the states and we can save the time that's why i already created them and now whenever our api is called so i'm just going to remove them and i will show you that how we can just set them so just right here set name and as you know in the previous video we just get the data inside a resp so we can just put here resp and the first row that will be on a zeroth position of array and dot name and with a similar way we can do the three things also and as you know we uh, need one more item which is id so just uh, take here 
user id also right and just write here set user id and again it will be just use a use state and we can just put here null or blank if you want to put it and uh, just put here a set email and just get here email from resp object right and uh, then just use here set uh, mobile and get mobile number also all right that's great now what we can do uh, we can also set air id so just write here set user id and uh, resp zeroth position dot id and uh, now we can just use this state as in value or default value here right so we can just simply use here values because uh, after that we will use your own change event also in the next video but in this video we are not going to change the value so just we can just put here a value so to make it quick we can just copy and paste it like this and uh, now just change it with the email and mobile right so whenever you will load this now you can see that we got the data of from first user that's great but how we can get the data from uh, this uh, click also so whenever let's say i just want to update the batman then i will click on update uh, which, which is respected to the batman and we will get the data here so for that um what we can do we can just uh, select uh, just go to the select user and just get a id here right and with this id as you can know we are just grabbing all data inside a user state so we can just simply get this data like user and we can simply use it id minus 1 why i am just going to be using minus 1 because our id is starting from the 1 and the user's array is starting from the 0 so now you will get that information whenever i will click on a batman update you can see that we got the batman data and uh, then uh, bruce and peter and all this is all working fine so we can just set this data to the uh, you can see that uh, our uh, states right so let's copy this all state from here and just paste it directly here and uh, for a moment so that uh, we can just uh, take this data inside a simple variable so just take an item and inside item let's just get the data from this one selected user right and uh, now just simply use here item dot email item dot email sorry and we need one more thing which is a uh, set name i just forgot to copy i think no that's that's okay we have here and uh, just use here item dot name item dot mobile and at the last we can just use here item dot id so all right so now let's uh, try to click on them i'm just going to click on a uh, tony and now you can see that we got the tony's data bruce peter and anil and all so this is working fine and on our first reload you can see that we are getting the data from first row so that's the way that how we can just get a pre-filled data uh, in a form if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in a comment box and in the next video we will continue this part and we will just make some changes here in uh, data and on a update users button click we will update this data also right and we will do it with the uh, put api so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please like this video